Hey guys, working on the budget Nova. It's going to get a budget transmission. I've never built a transmission in my life, but we're going to take this one apart. And I don't know if I can use the case or not, but I'm going to look at it and see if I see any carnage that to me looks like I can't or can use it. So I've already got a transmission kit. I've got another case in case I can't use this one, but it's a long tail. So I would have to swap the uh, rear output shaft and all that crap. I don't even know what some of this stuff is called, but we're going to take this thing apart right now. All right. I have watched a few YouTube videos of other people taking apart Turbo 350s. So how hard could it be, right? As long as you get the right size socket. And my buddy Jeremiah is behind the camera. He's going to move it around so y'all can see what I'm screwing up. And I spent a hundred bucks on this transmission. And uh, the only thing I know is that the uh, It didn't have any fluid in it and the transmission pan was rusty. So let's see uh, see what we can find out. Like I said, I watched a few videos to know kind of how to take it apart. And that's about it. All right, nothing else there. Take my... Uh, This will work. Take my governor off next. My governor cover anyway. Turn this around so you can see it. I want you looking at my butt. I've watched Precision Transmissions, that guy will take apart a Turbo 350 about a hundred times, so now I'm a professional. So. I don't know what I'm looking at, but that's supposed to move. Those don't feel all screwed up, so I think we're okay. I think I'm going to go through a lot of paper towels here. Let's see. All right. Now, there's a modulator in there. Let's see if I can get that out. There was no vacuum on it, but I don't know if that's any good or not. It's kind of cruddy. And now we're going to take the valve body off. I think. And I had already taken the cable off. Uh, the kick down cable, I'd already taken it loose. It went over here to this. Alright. Detent lever. Just going to take all these. They're probably all the same length. And I'm just going to take them out and leave them in the valve body. I guess I'll pull this up and then that'll come out. Yep. There we go. Gonna need that later. I also have a transmission book that I probably can't understand that tells me how to put these things back together and modify them and fix them. I've had it for 25 years. and I, I did take part of one apart one time and I couldn't figure out how to get it the rest of the way apart so I stopped. So, all right. I 
All right, now, I think your 1-2 piston is over here, and this is your, I don't know what this is called. That all looks normal to me. Fit tight in there, nothing was broke now. All right, that doesn't feel all boogered up. That's probably good. All right, now I got my parking pole right here. Tape like it is. All right, so I got that apart. Let me turn this over and get my one-two piston or whatever you call it out. Really need a bigger bench and a better place to take this apart. But this is what I got. It's not full of junk at the moment. Now there is a snap ring holding this thing in. And uh, I think I've got what I need to get it out. This might work. All right, there's a hole in the side that's supposed to be able to push the snap ring over so you can get something behind it to get it out. And if I was better from here, I'd have something that actually fit that better. But I don't. Let's see here. There we go. Well, they certainly make it easier on YouTube, I can promise you that. There we go. That's not good. That's kind of beat up. And I got a bunch of pieces of spring in here. That's supposed to come out easy or not. That's easy enough. Well, that looks okay. A little beat up on the front. I don't feel anything real bad in there. Alright, there is a little... Uh, there is a little scarring in here, and I don't know how bad it's got to be before it's not usable, but I'm not sure if the camera's going to focus or not. But right in here, you can see this is kind of messed up. I'm not sure if that's a bad spot or if it's got to be farther down to be a problem. I don't know. So if you guys know, tell me. But if not, I'll look it up. Anyway, that part is now out. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Start taking the pump out. Maybe. maybe. Let's see here. Wrong size. Now 
Now I do have, like I said, I have another case. And in case this one doesn't work, I can use the other case. But it is a long tail transmission. But I'm sure between the two of them, and I paid 50 bucks for that transmission and 100 bucks for this one. Um, this one I bought uh, first, and then I bought the other one second. So we'll see. <clears throat> now, in all the videos I've watched, old Richard from Precision Transmission, he just takes a screwdriver or something somewhere in here and pushes out, and the pump comes out. I'm guessing this is the only thing I can see. Oh, there you go. Okay. Feels like something's stuck. I'm not sure. There we go. All right. Here's my pump assembly. Move that over here. I think these are my direct clutches. Let's see. I think. See, now I'm embarrassing myself because I don't like to take it apart, but I thought so. I was poking it in the wrong hole. Hate it when that happens. Now, that's my wave plate, steels. There's some friction material left. That still don't look terrible. I mean, I don't really know because I don't know what they're supposed to look like, but. Anyway, I got all new steels, so it doesn't matter. All right. Now I think there is a snap ring. Oh, apparently not. Oh, there's a snap ring on that planetary. I just got to figure out how it comes off or where it's at. There it is. All right. I got some angled snap ring pliers that might get in there. It's more of a clip. It doesn't have holes in it. I'm gonna need something else. trying to do this all in one take just so y'all can see me suffer that isn't working All right, I found my little straight pick. Maybe that's... what I need to get this thing to move. Oh, 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 oh. All right, a little turn. Ah! Almost had it, okay.
I got it, finally. All right, so I stopped the camera, but I've been working on this for about 20 minutes now. Just on this one stupid little clip. That right there was a pain. Now, I don't know if that's supposed to sound like that or not. Okay, there's a washer or a bearing on the back side of that. All right, none of my planet gears look screwed up. That one kind of looks screwed up, but not terrible. But I've got two other transmissions. Well, one other transmission I can pull parts out of. All right. None of them feel loose. I don't know. All right. Now let's see what the rest of this is apart like. All right. There's some bushings in there. Or one big bushing, that's two bushings, I think. All right. Well, that's not good. That's a chunk of metal. That's probably really bad. I don't know if that's a piece of the case or not. All right, that's probably supposed to lock something in and wasn't. That's supposed to lock this into the center support. And there's a little clump spring in there that I don't know if I can get to or not. All right, tell you what I'm gonna do here. Can we grab this? I'm going to move this to where I can. I'm going to set the shaft down in here, set it on that. It's not all that heavy now, Lego. Look at your balls. Oh, check balls came out. I forgot about those. It's okay, I got a diagram that shows where they go. Now, I've got my little spring clip in here and a clunk spring, whatever they call it, that's supposed to hold this section in. Oh, that ain't supposed to happen. Of course, maybe it is. All right, figure that out in a minute. Okay, so I know you can't see down in here, but, um, hell, I don't know what it's called. It's twisted sideways, and it's going to have to go move a little bit against whatever that anti-clunk spring thing is before it'll come out. And I can't get the spring to move or take pressure off that. Have I mentioned I don't know what I'm doing? Have I, have I brought that up at all? I 
Ah, that's sharp. All right, this is the part where people say you bang it on the floor. I don't think that's a good idea, but, well, apparently it works. Now, I could have broke a bunch of stuff just now, and I don't know better, but uh, that all looks okay. But I think the case is the soft stuff. Let me put this over here. Set the case back up. And see if you can get the camera down in here. There's my little anti-clunk spring. Um, there's a bearing in the back, roller bearing. There's a steel. And then there's my rear piston, reverse piston, I think. Um, that's a big shaving of something. Probably shouldn't be a big shaving of something in here. I'm just going to guess. And uh, right here is where the uh, piece of transmission broke off. One of the tooths of the center support. I think it's called the center support. Um, or at least that's what holds the center support in. Now, uh, I'm not sure if that's a problem or not. I'm going to guess it's a problem. But I did buy a tool to take the rear piston out or the rear piston spring out. So we're going to play with that real quick. that locks into where that these two tabs right here lock in and this will push down on it so once you get it uh where it needs to be now let's see what it looks like all right i see a ring i don't see the open end of it so i gotta take pressure back off of it spin this around until i see the open end of it and there it is okay came loose all right maybe I can get it loose now it's got to be easier than that other clip huh all right, I think I got this stupid thing out. This other clip's been a pain. All right. Now, take the pressure off. Pretty camera over here. I'm going to loosen this up, hopefully not break a camera. I don't know how much pressure it's under, but hopefully not a bunch. And this is the clip that I was trying to get out. And that's caught on there sideways, so I'm going to tap, tap, tap on that a little bit. And hopefully it's going to do that. Well, there you go. That's what happens when you don't know what you're doing. Uh, that sucks. But uh, anyway, I didn't break a camera and I didn't break a tooth. Got all my springs out. <laughs> now this piston is a uh, supposed to be a way you can blow a little air in one of these ports and the piston pops out. And after what just happened, I'm terrified to blow air in this thing and pop the piston just right on out. So, I think it's 
this port right here. So I'm gonna grab my air nozzle real quick. All right. I'm not gonna put much pressure at all on here. Aha! It worked. And there's my piston with the seals on it that'll have to be replaced. And I think that is all that's left other than my shift selector. I think the rest is just case. So um, now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm pretty sure the case is junk. With a little bit of scarring I've got over here in my 1-2 shift piston or accumulator, whatever you call it. Um, with a little bit of scarring I've got in that and the lug broken off the inside of the case here plus where the anti-clunk spring is is pretty scarred up I'll have to phone a friend and ask them if that's junk or not so the case is probably junk but I do have another case that is hopefully in better condition than this one and easier to get apart now it is a long tail transmission but from what I understand um, all I need to do is clean this shaft up, this output shaft, and swap this output shaft, um, as long as it's okay, swap it with the other output shaft and put the other tail housing on there. I'm pretty sure the main body of the case is the same. So, uh, and I can see my clutches and stuff on here. Um, I've got another planetary. My rear output shaft, so i got a bushing there. Um, or a washer, not a bushing. So I've got plenty of uh, plenty of parts to inspect, and I don't know what I'm looking for, so I'll have to look at a book. I've got my race for my uh, one of the sprags. I don't know which sprag that is. Um, but yeah, so these steels and clutches for this set, which is probably first in reverse, I think. I don't know. Like I said. I'll look it all up. I'll check the clearances and see where I have to put everything. But those look great to me, but I don't know what I'm looking at. So, I was just checking for wobbling. I know they can get into the body of the thing here some, but. All right, all right. So here's a big pile of parts that I have no idea how to put back in a case that's probably no good. Okay, so I'm gonna take this front pump apart and look at it and see if it looks chewed up because then I know I'm screwed. Um, but like I said, I've got another transmission that might be worse than this one, I hope not. Um, and if you needed any proof that I had no idea how to take a transmission apart, this video is it. You ought to be convinced by now. And hopefully I don't get any more surprises. There's a whole bunch of springs on this like there was the other one. But I'm hoping as I take the screws, the, the bolts out, the tension on those will come off a little bit slower than the other thing did. I'm hoping. Yeah, there we go. Much better. I know sometimes those springs are captured on some transmissions. Maybe it's the other ones that are captured, not these. I don't, I don't know. If I knew, this video wouldn't be half as embarrassing. But the only way you learn is by diving in. Well, I can say the only way. It's the best way to learn. Um, some people learn by doing it 40 times. Oh, that's not good. Is it supposed to be rusty? Can that be fixed? Um, I'm not sure how bad that is. There's a lot of rust in it. It's 
steady support is fairly rusty itself. Okay, the truth is I don't know what a good pump looks like, so I don't know if I'm looking at a bad pump. Um, a lot of rust on that, and I'm not sure how much is too much or if any is too much. I just don't know. Looks like the pump gear is rusted, so this is probably junk. And since it's probably junk, I don't mind prying on it a little bit, see if I can get it to move. I'm sure prying on it's a bad idea, but as rusty as it is, I don't think it's going to matter. Alright, so that's fairly rusty. You can see it doesn't look chewed up. I don't know where that goes, so that's not good. That's probably important. Um, this one, I don't think that groove is supposed to be there, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's supposed to be flat all the way across. I'll have to look at a video or somebody else's uh, thing, and it's got a little bit of rust on it. So I'll clean it up with some uh, Scotch Bright and kind of look at it, see if it looks like it's going to come off or not. But And the Scotch Brite might be ruining it, I don't know. Okay, well if that big groove is supposed to be there, I'm okay probably. Maybe not, but if it's not supposed to be there, I'm screwed. So, uh, anyway. At the very least, the pump gears are junk because that one's pretty rusted up. And so is that. All right, so here's my intermediate sprag. It only turns one way like it's supposed to. And it's supposed to come off right there, so I don't know how hard that is to get off. Washer there. There's a clutch back in here. I've had enough of that tonight. All right. Again, I don't know what I'm looking at, but nothing looks terrible. 
as far as I know. The steels just like to have a few grooves in them, but yeah, that doesn't even look that bad. I think this was a circle trap transmission, which is probably a terrible thing because they're pretty rough on stuff. Um, and that piston in there probably need a uh, compressor. I've got a, uh, I bought a little press that pulls down to do that, but I don't have it mounted yet, so I'm not going to take that out. And then I got my, like I said, my intermediate sprag there. Okay, that means that's bad. I did, I did, that is one thing I picked up, that if it falls apart, it's junk. All right, I got a bunch of transmission parts that I have no idea what to do with or how to inspect. So I'm gonna get my book out, watch a few videos on YouTube, see if I can make sense of what all I've got. I'm pretty sure the case is junk. I've got the old case that's on the back of the 307 on the engine stand, and I've got another Turbo 350 that I bought that's a long tail. Um, hopefully it's in better condition on the inside than all of this, because I think this one sat got water in it. Uh, I'm pretty sure the pump's junk, at least the gears are, and the case is probably junk. Some of the rest of it, I'm not positive. I'll have to check it out, uh, it, like I know what I'm doing. But anyway, I'm gonna pull the other one apart. I'll probably do another video on that, and uh, we'll get it all cleaned up. I'm gonna put a transmission together, and we're gonna see if it'll move. If not, I do have another transmission I bought just in case my transmission building skills suck, which they probably do. So it is a completely stock transmission, came out of a running car, and I won't take it apart. I'll just put it together, or put it together, put it in this car. It came with a converter and everything. I spent 200 bucks on it, which if I'd have started with that deal, I'd be cheaper than what I've spent on the rebuild kit and these two cores. I've got $150 in cores between the two. I've got 250 bucks in the rebuild kit, and I would still need a converter. So that would put me at um, three and nine is 17. That would put me at about four, four, five, six hundred bucks. 550 bucks, I'm not gonna do the math. Um, so it was 150 bucks for the two transmissions, 250 for the kit, that's $400, plus the converter would have been 150 to 200 bucks. So I'd have had right about $600 in it. Now, the other transmission that I picked up came with a stock converter in it. The car sat for probably 30 years maybe 20, I don't know, but he did move the car. So it did run and drive kind of uh, across the yard. And then he pulled the motor and transmission out of it. I got the transmission, somebody else bought the motor. So anyway, I gotta figure out what to do here. We'll see you guys next video.